Um, and so we got led through that process of how to do it. Um, and it was, it was really, uh, it was really solid. Um, and so we, we picked a chair um, and then from there, we, we picked a couple of other people. And previously when we'd had advisors working with us, it was one person. And the assumption, a lot of us, I think as small businesses, we assume that if we bring in that one person, that one, one consultant, and maybe they've worked in a big four or whatever, that they know what to do. But many of these people haven't actually built a business themselves before. And, and they uh, give the best advice they can, but it's, you know, it's still on you, which it should be. And so you end up uh, in some ways creating a hero that you're going to listen to everything they say and do everything they say. And, and I think that heroes, true heroes are very rare. Um, what is better is the conversation. And I think that's what's so valuable about the advisory process. It's not about listening to one person telling you what you should do. It's about ha having a conversation with a group of people who don't have all the answers, but collectively someone will ask the right question about, well, why are you doing this and what does that make sense? And it then it, you go back and, and make the make the process, you make the decision yourself. Um, and for us, um, I think the discipline of turning up every couple of months with some presentations, feeding, you know, delivering that to an advisory board so they could ask questions probably helped as much ourselves because we started to think about what we were doing. 